Who's on the bag for us today? And, and, and it's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, just a local. Just grabbed a local. <laughs> isn't that nice? Just a local. No, he's my coach. Thank you. He's a guy that's trying to fine tune my swing. Fine tune everything. And how long has he been in your in your? He's Steve. been a coach for a long time and a caddy for not very long. His vocation is excellence in cat in not caddying. Coached him for 17 years. Got sacked three times caddying for him last Tuesday. How many times you caddy for me? Three. You're seven from eight in your Tavistock Cup record. So compare that to your match play record. <laughs> I reckon I'm a good caddy. Jeez. Wow. I guess you can say that because I'm not paying you, but. Yeah. You're doing it for the love of the game, aren't you, Benny? Just for the love of the game. For the love of the game. Mmm, Healy down the middle. It's always good to hit a bad shot down the middle, if that makes sense. Better than a great shot in the trees. Bash on this hole, this is a three-shotter. Yeah, this is a three-shot hole today. You don't want throwing legs in the back swing, throwing legs in the through swing. I want stability in my knees. I want to feel that everything moves rhythmically. And certainly the way my hips move, I want them to turn. I don't want them to slide. I don't want them to start you know, moving. I want them just to turn around a stable platform. Once you do that, then the upper body should follow. I'm highly likely it's likely to follow. So uh, that's a key. And that stuff I was talking about using on the leaderboard has made a big, big difference to me the way my body's maintaining a shape, why it's building a power in the backswing and then executing it right at impact, and not just before, you know, not just after, and, and then obviously, you know, a big solid follow through and follow the target. That gives me consistency, but the, the, up, the big upside too, it gives me length and gives me, uh, you know, that control factor. It's a great shot. That's the right one there, Coach. Right Kenny. at the right at the moment, we're just That's we're perfect. working a little takeaway thing. So uh, Stewie's been working really hard on keeping his arms working with his body, and as a result of that, he's he's actually delayed his wrist cock a little too much on the backswing. So he's getting a little late and laggy with the club, and it's been dropping it inside. So we're just trying to set it up the plane a little bit. So a little bit earlier. He's just giving away my secrets. Is that what that rehearsal move is is doing now? Well, I'm just basically trying to, for me, now, I mean, not for the amateurs watching at home, there could be a, a numerous amount of other things that are going on that make that a truck, make that not a thing they want to do. Yeah. But for me, um, just getting the club in that position more allows me just to complete a backswing that now takes away any lag. Anyone who's a, a long, you know, keeping the hands sort of low to the head, and then doing that, you get that snap lag. You've got to be really, really good with your plane on the way down. And that's something I don't do if I take it that way. So yeah, for me, it's just getting that initial wrist set. I know Mike Weir does, has that look. Chris DeMarco has the same thing. And that's sort of where I'm trying to get, because if I can get the club there in a position, I can come back down in the same one and deliver a good blow. 